Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how I built my personal voice food for my voice acting. I am so sorry that this video has taken so long. I honestly thought nobody would be interested in what I built, but I'm really grateful that Hat Empire in the comments actually asked for the video and encouraged me to post it. So finally, we're here, we're gonna be posting it. I will have to tell you that this video is divided into two parts. The first part I will show you will be the first voice booth that I built when I was still living in an apartment in Toronto. This is renter friendly. I have the blueprint right here and I will be posting the picture like right now for you to follow along. And as early as now, I do request that you screenshot this image just so as I'm speaking to you in the video, you could follow along with me. And no, unfortunately, you will not be finding this blueprint anywhere else. This is my personal prototype. And you are free to adjust the sizing depending on how you are comfortable with it. My height is 5 foot and 3 inches, so my booth being 6 feet tall is just enough for me to have headroom. But I know some of you might be taller, so feel free again to size it as to where you're comfortable with it. Now something to note is I have not patented this, I am not selling this, you are free to do whatever you want with it. You can share it to others, you can post it on your social media, you don't need to credit me, but just subscribing to my channel or just commenting anything on this video is more than enough. I do have one request however, I hope that nobody sells this document. Let the document remain free for anyone to use. Let's keep the voice acting community thriving and open for more future voice artists and let's just keep sharing tips and tricks and let's not be a gatekeeper guys, okay? We need each other so we can grow and we can thrive. I don't have a video of us going to Home Depot and buying this, but basically we bought PVC pipes and we cut them on site in the Home Depot where we bought them and we cut it in a size as shown in the video. So again, if you are following along the blueprint that you have screenshotted, I have 12 pieces of one and a half inch PVC pipes, 12 pieces of two inches, 10 pieces of 3 inches PVC pipes. Now, I also bought 8 pieces of corner joints, 8 pieces of T joints or a 3 way joint, 4 pieces of 4 way side joints, and 1 piece of a 4 way cross joint. Now, if you are confused as to where to put these things, you will notice from the drawing that I did is that I actually colored them as to where to put it. Like for example, the 12 pieces of one and a half inches is all used at the top and it's colored orange as with the color that I used to write the 12 piece of one and a half inches. So are the elbow joints. It is also drawn that way. You will know where I used the three-way joints. You'll know where I used the four-way side joints and the eight-piece corner joints. All you have to do is follow the colors as to what I wrote it with and what the colors, like there's a legend over here. I did not think this through before I started the video, but I realized that some of you may have trouble seeing the colors and if it is kind of taxing for you, I can upload a different document and just attach it to the comments below if someone does ask. So I'm really sorry about that. If you are having trouble seeing color, um, just let me know and I'll redo this, but this time writing like maybe a different legend with letters instead of colors. Anyway, building it is quite easy once you have all the sizes and all the joints complete. You're basically just building Lego. You just follow whatever you see here here in this blueprint and you can see us putting them together in this video. Then in the last part, we simply put the blankets of the done block and then I clipped them using thick paper clips. I don't know, they're not called paper clips. I just don't know what they're called, but basically it's these clips right here. I use these to clip my moving blankets and the moving blankets I bought on Amazon. I also have a pricing breakdown of what I have it as here. And one thing to note is this is in Canadian dollars. I also have it legend where if it's 
it's yellow, I bought it from Amazon. And if it's orange, I bought it from Home Depot. So it might be different from wherever you are buying it from. But basically, like the sound blankets, some of the joints were not available on my Home Depot. So I had to buy it on Amazon. Okay, so I also have a pricing breakdown. Again, it's in Canadian dollars. The most expensive part of the project was the PVC pipes. It costed me $231 and the moving blankets, which costed $150. $54 and the rest were just kind of like bits pieces of um, costs anyway now this is enough right this booth was enough to get me by but since my booth was near a window the echo was a bit bad it really depends on your area if you put this maybe in your room or maybe near a closet or somewhere near like a bed or a curtain because we didn't have curtains in our on our windows it would help because we didn't have any of those things it echoed so bad because of the large windows that we had so i had to purchase additional audio foams and we stuck it in the walls of the inside i'm so sorry i actually do not have a video of me putting the foam but here's a clip of me using it when the foam is finally installed so just watch this short clip. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. But then everything changed when the fire nations attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, can stop them. Now these audio foams are available on Amazon and it's not as expensive, but it really helped in reducing the echo in the booth, which of course made me sound more professional and helped me secure more high quality clients. So think about that. Okay. I hope that is enough for you. Since this was way back two and a half years ago, there are some little details that I no longer remember, but I will be very happy to answer any of your questions that you have and feel free to comment down below. And maybe if it is a complicated question, I might do a whole video for it. I just love to help out and I wish more voice actors could come into the industry. I wish more fresh voices would come into and find work and have new like talent to show. It's, an, it's a really nice industry. So now for the second part of my video, is my new and improved home studio. Now that we actually own a house, I must say it is much easier to build than what I have shown, but it might be costly depending whether or not you already have the materials that I will be showing. So now this, I do not have any sizing because it is only two shelving units that you can get in Ikea or better yet, if you have any old shelving units that you no longer want to use, it's much better. You don't need to spend, but Again, I just took my old audio foams from my old um, booth and just stuck it into the walls of my new audio booth. And then I put one of the shelves into the shelving unit to act as a table for my keyboard, my microphone, and my monitor. I have a keyboard that has a built-in trackpad and is also Bluetooth connected to my PC, so I don't need any more wires inside. As I mentioned, it is much more simpler. Basically, I put two shelving units and I make it like a sandwich in which I become part of the sandwich inside. <laughs> And then I threw over my old moving blankets to wrap around so I don't get any echoes and then again I used clips to secure them. I did not build anything. I was given these shelving units and creativity just got the better of me. I still have my PVC pipes but I'm pretty sure I'm no longer going to use them for the purpose of voice acting. I hope this video isn't overwhelming. It is really a simple process. You don't need to weld anything. You don't need to screw anything. All you need is a lot of patience to either cut the PVC pipes or the time you need to stick all of your audio foams around your voice booth. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you to Hat Empire again for being such an encouraging soul and happy voice acting.